Hey everyone, Eric here. In this video, we're checking out the Alter Doom Sludge Fuzz from Leaked Lamb Audio. So the Alter Doom Sludge Fuzz is a pedal that's based around a few different building blocks and it's all assembled to get a massive sounding fuzz. So it's all centered around a Big Muff style fuzz. Now, before we get into the pedal more, let's go over the signal chain. I've got my Woodwright Warlord right here with Invader style humbuckers, but this guitar runs into the altar from Leaked Larum Audio. And then from the altar, we're going into the front of the Boss Katana set pretty clean. <laughs> So first up, we have the heart of the pedal, which is the Big Muff style fuzz. The level knob lets us control the overall output volume. So if we turn the level down and we turn the pedal on, we don't get anything. If we want a louder sound, we turn it up. And then directly next to the level control, we have the gain control. So if we want a cleaner sound, we turn it down. And from here, we can introduce more and more gain. Now we're gonna move on to the EQ section, which is super powerful. We have bass, mids, and high right here. So we can really fine tune the different frequencies in our signal. So if we want less bass, we can take this bass control, turn it all the way down. And if we want more bass, we can start to turn that control up. You can hear that we can get a lot of bass out of this EQ section. Now, same goes for the mid range. If we want a more mid scoop sound, we can turn the mids control down. And if we want more mids, we can start to turn that control up. And I'm sure that you're well aware now, you can assume that the high does the same thing. The treble control lets us get a darker or brighter sound. If we turn it all the way down like I just did, we get a darker sound. And if we want a brighter sound, we can start to introduce more of those high frequencies. The last sort of EQ control that we have is this depth control, which is on a mini knob on the bottom row right here. This depth knob lets us control the overall kind of, what I describe as width of our sound in the low frequencies especially. And you'll hear, if we have it all the way down, 
even with the bass slightly boosted, we're getting a pretty, not a thin sound, but not, not a super wooly thick sound. Now, as we start to increase that depth control, you're gonna hear the low end kind of really, really fill in to make a super full sound. Next, we have the final control of the core fuzz sound, and that is our comp knob right here. Now, technically what this is doing is blending between two different types of clipping in the first clipping stage of the fuzz. We have a louder set of diodes over here on the left-hand side, and a quieter set, a more compressed and squished set on the right. So what we're doing is we're kind of governing how hard we're hitting the second gain stage inside the fuzz with this control. I prefer the left-hand side, so we've been hearing up to this point the louder set of clipping diodes. So now what I wanna do is go through the comp sweep and we can really hear on the left-hand side, we're getting more of a distortion characteristic. And as we go into the more compressed side, if as we turn the control up, we're getting more of an overdrive sound. <laughs> Now we've come to the boost section of the altar, and that is controlled by this foot switch, this control, and this control. So we have two knobs and a foot switch just for the boost. And the boost can be turned on and off independently of the fuzz, and when both are turned on, the boost runs into the fuzz. And this gives us controlled variance of the level of gain that we can get out of the fuzz. So if we don't have the boost on, we get a lower gain setting, and if we kick the boost on, we really boost into the front of it, we're gonna get a higher gain sound out of the fuzz. To demonstrate that, let's go ahead and set the boost control to minimum. And this is our bass fuzz slash distortion sound. <laughs> Now, if we kick the boost on, you heard there we get a little bit of a voice change. It's kind of more mid-rangey, but we get approximately the same amount of gain out of the fuzz side. Now what we can do is we can start to turn the boost up to get more and more gain out of the fuzz. compared to when the boost is off. It 
And just to demonstrate, we do have the ability to turn the boost on and off by itself. So right now, the fuzz is not on, but the boost is. So if just the boost wasn't cool enough, we can really start to wreak havoc by using the grind control, because the grind control lets us blend in the EQ voicing of an HM2, the heavy metal 2, the chainsaw sound, that really snarly, very focused EQ voicing of the HM2. We can blend that in with the grind control, and there's no better way to demonstrate that than with the fuzz on as well. I really think this might be a great pedal for like black metal. So now we have my Squire Classic Vibe Precision Bass running into the altar, out to the Katana, same amp, same settings. That's clean sound. Let's go ahead and kick on the altar, the fuzz section. We've got the gain at 50%. Let's just set everything at 50%. Okay, right off the bat, I want some more bass. Let's go ahead and back off the bass control and then try the depth control. I like the depth control a lot, but I want to kick the bass up just a tiny bit more. Now let's go ahead and scoop the mid-range a tiny bit, and then turn the treble up. Let's kick the gain up. Now we gotta kick on the grind boost. I hope you dug this look at the Alter Doom Sludge Fuzz. If you did, I'll leave a link to the Leak Larum Audio website in the description below. You can find out more about the pedal and even purchase it through that link. 
And while you're down there, if you're looking for any sort of other musical equipment, I do have affiliate links to Sweetwater, Reverb, and Amazon. If you click on those links, it saves you time by taking you directly to those sites or a product on those sites. And anything you buy through those links helps support the channel because I get a small commission off of whatever's purchased through those links. Again, it saves you time and it doesn't cost you anything extra at all. And it's a great way to help support the channel if you wanna do so. I also wanna send a huge thank you to my Patreon fam. I really appreciate your support so much and thank you for watching this video i hope you're doing well out there i hope you're staying safe most of all i hope you're taking care of yourself i'll see you in the next video